we are going to go over how to adjust our hem guide. So first thing we're going to do is make sure the temperature is down so no one gets burnt. Um, we're going to loosen and pull the guide out. First thing I'm going to do is start from scratch. So I'm just going to loosen everything up, get it down to where you might be getting a brand new guide. So we'll just loosen that and loosen this little set collar. So we have our guide here in three pieces. We have our clamp collar, one of our adjustment shafts, and then the hem guide itself. First, I'm going to grab the shaft and throw the clamp onto it. The clamp has this little pin so we can slide the guide in and out and have it preset basically. So I'm just going to throw this in, angle that back, slide the hem in, and then I'm just going to quickly pop my head down here and hold it in a position to where I am not scraping the guide and is going through evenly. Once I have it to where it swings in okay and it's not touching, I'm going to lock down this first bolt and then I'm going to move over and lock this bolt on this top shaft as well. Then I'll check again, swing it in, swing it out. Now that we have our two positions locked down and our guide is stable, we are now going to try to get the inside of this wedge to the inside of this wall. So as I swing it in, you can see we have a, a pretty big gap there. So I'm just going to eyeball that gap and I'm going to move the guide to the left to get those two surfaces closer together. So I'm going to hold the guide, I'm going to loosen it, swing in, lock it down, and there. It swings right in against that wall. You need to get down here and look through this hole to see them actually touch. So now that we have the wedge close to the inside of the guide, the last adjustment is going to be our flap, which are these two set screws on top of this guide. Those should be lined up with the outside of the wheel in order to make that perfect one inch flap. If they're adjusted too far out, you're going to have more of a flap. Too far in, you're only going to get three quarters or less than a 25 millimeter weld. Now that we have the guide aligned, let's throw a piece of material in and check to see how it looks. Other bits of information that you could find useful is if that pocket seems to be growing or it's just overly sized, that's telling me that the edge of the wedge is not close enough to the inside of the guide, meaning there's a thicker gap there. Um, that's going to cause for a thicker pocket. Now same as if these are over too far, you have a flap here or if you have not enough material laying over and you have a streak from the wedge, that's the adjustment right, right here. Move them to the left if you want to bring the material fold over or move it right. 